today we're in the gym, eight weeks out, and I'm about 211 pounds. So I'm down from like 240 to 211. I was like 240, 245 is where I was kind of sitting. Down to 211, and I'm still dropping to that light heavyweight, so I got about another 15 pounds left to go. And I'm in the gym today, and I'm training with the fat groups. You guys have asked about them, and I didn't know much about them. So luckily, a buddy of mine at the gym had the fat grips, and he has the super fat grips. And he allowed to let me borrow them for a while so that I can use them. So I've been using them for probably about three weeks now, and I have noticed that they do isolate the forearms and biceps. And it definitely works. There's no doubt about it. So guys like Jay and Phil, now they're using them, well, they also sell them. But the bottom line is it takes the pressure off the joints. So I can see why these guys who've been training for a while with the heavier weights can actually lighten up the weights a little bit, but still be able to hit the muscles in a, in a different way as opposed to putting the, the weight on the joints. So I'm going to hit a couple sets with bar and a couple sets with uh, dumbbells because I only do three sets for biceps a week. So I'll let you guys check this out and we'll be right back and check it out. So that's a set of bar curls. And if you notice, I still keep that mid-range range of motion so it isolates the biceps better. But the fat grips actually put the, the pressure more on the bicep. And it does hit the forearm in a different way too, but it takes it off the wrists. But you have to go lighter. If you go the same weight you normally use, or heavier, you're going to jack up your wrists. It absolutely puts more pressure on your wrist at that point. So why it does this? I don't friggin' know. What's the science behind it? I don't know, but the shit works. So. I would advise if you guys want to go out and get these things, they're like 49 bucks a pair. Give them a shot. I haven't moved on to the super fat grips yet, which are even bigger than these, because there's like a system that you have to kind of build up with these first before you can use the uh, super fat grips. Because if you use the super fat grips, they totally jack up your wrists and elbows and everything real fast, and you get scar tissue and you get some little micro tears and stuff in there because it isolates it so well that you got to build up and strengthen your, uh, excuse me, I'm having a hard time breathing. You have to uh, strengthen up your your, assist, your wrists and forearms and biceps and stuff with these things first. So we're going to go on to do one set of dumbbell curls to failure. And that'll finish the bicep workout for the week. I already did one set of curls before you, which you guys saw. That was my second set to failure. Now we're going to hit the dumbbell curl to failure, and that will be it for biceps. All right, so you guys that don't know what fat grips are, these are fat grips. They say fat grips on them because they're a fatter grip than your regular bar. They open up like this and go on the bar. You can put them on a barbell, you can put them on a dumbbell, you can put them on whatever. And because it's fatter, it's like an axle um, bar that a lot of the strongmen use. It actually increases your grip strength, puts the pressure down through your, your forearm here, up through the bicep. So some of you guys asked me about forearm work, which I've never used these before, but I am getting good forearm work using these things. So if you have the means, the funds, like 50 bucks, go ahead and pick them up because they help do forearm work. So we're going to hit that one set of dumbbell curls now. And as you can see, I put them on the dumbbell. Just open it up and put them on. Grab the dumbbell. Oh, and I like to do them one arm at a time so I can really isolate. That's it for buys for this week. So you have two sets of bar, one set of dumbbell curls. I'm going to stretch them out now a little bit. Get these, some of that blood out of there because now it's so tight inside there. 
move on to triceps, which I'm going to use this thing for triceps too, which I've been doing, which actually helps you guys with the triceps. That's another story for another day. So, if you guys get a chance to try these things, check them out. Whew. If not, and you see some at the gym laying around, maybe your gym has a pair. Some of the gyms are buying them. Give them a shot while they're there, because they definitely work. www.bioshitraining.com is the blog. Bioshitraining at gmail.com is the email. And we're out.